everyone and once again welcome back to my channel the key to having a productive day is to get up early in the morning i'm not an early riser but it's well known no brainer that when you start your day early you can squeeze in so many things throughout the day and set yourself up for a greatly productive day thanks to our son he is making it happen school has started and our routine is also getting back to normal i get up around 5:45 to 6 in the morning and start my day with a glass of water and a small trip to balcony to get some fresh air. Here comes the tip number 1. Always take out some time and just sit back to relax. Give yourself a little me time so that you can prepare yourself for the day. With nowadays busy lifestyle, not getting enough time for yourself is a kind of problem. If you are really not making an effort to find this alone time it results in days passing by without you really being aware of what's happening so to do so i just come inside and sit on the sofa to relax myself and prepare for the day now at around 6:15 i wake up my son and sometimes it really takes a little longer because like us kids are also getting back to their normal school life he takes a full glass of water and walks a little to break his sleep and then he freshens up and brushes his teeth Tip 2 Utilize the time chunks wisely like Vedat takes around 30 minutes to do his morning chores and instead of just sitting and waiting for him I do my work and utilize it to finish my home chores and it kinds of give me a timer that I have to finish some work in this particular slot so this is the time when I arrange my home like keeping the cushions back arranging the dining space keeping the books and other things now it has become a habit and it hardly takes more than 15 to 20 minutes to settle up my whole home at around 6:50 my son starts getting ready for the school and i prepare his tiffin box What he likes to take in his lunch box is completely his choice and I prepare that according to him. Vedat eats his breakfast while he eats I change into my walking clothes. If I am looking to go for a walk this is the ideal time when we drop him off at the school. At around 7:25 I start gathering his school stuff and start packing his bag. It takes around 2 to 3 minutes and he put his shoes on and then we are ready. Take out some time to do some physical activities. Dropping kids to the bus stop or dropping them to school is idle. Take out some extra 15 to 20 minutes for a walk or exercise. If possible, go out otherwise do some yoga or other exercise at home. But nowadays it is important to get some time for these to have a healthy lifestyle. When we come back, I wash my hands and feet and then I start by cleaning. Daily cleaning is the key to have a clean home. Take out some time, especially in the morning before sweeping and mopping to clean the whole house. Use wet cloth to wipe down all the top surfaces which we touch daily. Just make this your thumb rule for cleaning. Don't go for cleaning every nook and corner on daily basis. Just set a schedule and do the cleaning as per that. I clean my bedroom in the end because this is the room which needs more time in terms of cleaning. as well as arranging the stuff so i do it in the end 
Watering the plants is sometimes my job and sometimes my husband's. And after that, usually at around 9, I take bath. I use Marmarth Oil Free Face Wash which has the richness of apple cider vinegar and salicylic acid. It removes the excess oil and gives you a healthy glow. Apple cider vinegar helps to improve the skin appearance by refreshing it and salicylic acid helps to unclog pores and exfoliates the skin gently. And after that, I take coin sized amount of apple cider vinegar moisturizer, apply it all over the neck and face and massage till completely absorbed. All Mama Earth products are free from any harmful chemical and they're all natural. You can use my code which is DECOR2022 for extra 20% off at mama.in. Mama Earth has recently launched their official app. Users can get early access to their sales and get extra discount. Get ready to feel more confident and avoid being lethargic. So dress up nicely. Wear what you find comfortable but also not something which makes you feel lazy. Even if working from home, then also dress up nicely. It puts you in the right state of mind and positive energy. Also creates nice work environment which encourages more and keeps your mind tuned to the kind of work you're doing. I carry on with my day by doing the prayer at my home temple. After doing the prayer, I arrange the utensil and then I start preparing for breakfast and lunch. My husband has alternate office day schedules and when he goes to office, I prepare his lunch box. Now when you are in the kitchen, try to think smartly, which will reduce your work. Like most of the time, I plan my meals in a way where I don't have to take out a lot of utensils for preparing the dishes. Like the paneer gravy can be prepared and while it cools down, I can use the same karhai for preparing the masala poha. After poha is done, I simply clean it with water and again, I can use it for preparing the paneer. It not only saves time, but also saves water and energy. Sometimes thinking smart is all you need to have an organized and well sorted life. These are the small small things which I prefer to do daily and believe me, it really keeps me cool and sorted throughout the day. Now at around 10, my husband has his breakfast and he leaves for his office. My maid also finishes most of the work by this time. And at around 10.30, I start my breakfast and start watching some series or movie or calls my friends and family. Just relax for some time because if you go so quickly, you have to relax after my breakfast, I again come back to kitchen at around 11 to clean as you can see how much mess it creates in just few hours. Clean as you go. Don't wait for too long before you attend to it. Don't think I'll do it later. I have enough time and this can wait. Nothing can wait and especially in summers it won't. It will attract more flies and insects and then for later it really becomes a job to clean. So I clean my kitchen when I see it's dirty. Every day, I prefer to do one lot of laundry just to avoid the pile of clothes in the laundry basket. And on the alternate day, I clean the clothes in which I keep the rotis with this Hydexil liquid laundry detergent. Which I recently started using, I just take a coin size amount of detergent into the basket to clean these clothes. This detergent is just perfect for any kind of washing machine, can be used in the top load and in the front load. It is suitable for all the clothes and does not damage them. It has a lavender smell which makes the laundry even more enjoyable. It removes the stains and keeps the cloth fresh after washing. So at around 11.30, I start my work. I prepare my scripts on Tuesday and if I have to take some shots or voiceover, I plan it a day before and work accordingly. And I work for around 2 hours and keeps on taking short breaks in between for 5 to 10 minutes to relax myself. I keep myself hydrated by drinking water and juice. Now at around 1.30, I start making the rotis or rice as per my lunch menu and keep them in the roti casserole. I set up the clothes for me and my son when we come back after the school. Arrange the stuff which I need to take when I go to pick him up from the school. Like an umbrella, escort card and everything. So at around 2, I leave to pick up my son. 
This is how my morning and probably early afternoon looks and this is pretty much all about it and would love to know about yours and how do you manage to keep it productive.